in and it'll expand and then it, it's uh it seals up all those yeah, little gaps seals up the, the whole plane that's kind of cool they took them out of production though really sad enough that about planes and more about counter strike as we were just trying to waste a little bit of time here it's flip side versus neo fight here frank right masters this is the elimination match of group b and right now flip side are exactly one round away from um or one map away here from being eliminated surprisingly as i definitely would have thought they were the stronger team on the first map, that wasn't the case. Second map, though, starts off with a good opening blade, instantly taking out Quest 1. Yeah, actually, that's a great kill to have. And Oscar as well dropped down to 5 HP. It's going to make, I mean, it's going to put a lot more pressure now on the remaining members for Neophyte to lock things down. Good follow-up there by Bondic, who was lurking in Palace to pick off the man who was down low. That's Oscar gone. Now man advantage here for Flipside, and they are looking like they're going to get out onto this A site. The bomb is making its way here, and Barbie not going to be able to deny it from his current position. Oh, Sierra actually almost came up with the third kill then as he nearly took down Blade. This is a pretty good turnaround for Neo. Fight Bondig and Blade on left, and there's going to be a Molotov. Oh! I think that was either supposed to go in and check uh, Shadows or was supposed to be up in the apartments. Either way, he definitely failed a little bit there. Bondig with two important kills. Barbie now waiting for him, and he's going to go down as well. Quad kill. Bondig going to save the round, and Flipside will just barely make it out. That did not look like that was supposed to be possible. I mean, if that Molotov works, then it's all over. And then, yeah, there's nothing that Bondi can do at all. I'm still amazed. And the fact that he manages to actually pull off that 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 running strafe, basically, as well, stays alive through that. Wow. Yeah, yeah I don't even That is definitely kind of shocking. That's individual play for you, basically. Blade doing the best that he could from Tetris there, but... Really bonding there to save the day, and that was looking like everything would spin out of control for Flipside, and that's going to be a breath of fresh air for Flipside as well, considering how cash went for them. Yeah. I mean, it can't inspire too much confidence when it takes a quad kill from one of your players to get the win. What do you think about the uh, fact that there was just four MP7s on this uh, Flipside team? I'm one of them has just gone down to a deagle. I'm fine with it, man. Make that money. <laughs> get them greenbacks. More money, more problems, though. <laughs> and... Um... Right now, they might actually have a lot of problems if they're going to walk in and get killed again here. Could have definitely been a shot there. Simple down to half health. There is a scout on Zero, so now it's a one shot on Simple, and he's going to be gone. And Quest hiding in the corner. P215 hand. Rotation coming in, and look at it. Actually, the scout's coming in from B as well. It's going to take a little bit of a while, but um, it's going to be here at some point. They haven't spotted out Quest yet. This should be a free kill coming into it. Well, then it's turning around. He gets dropped, though. So will Quest. Bondic falls as well, and look at them. They're so low on health here. They're trying to find the angles through the smoke. We can see Zero here. Zero's eventually going to get the kill on a blade, and there's Thiko with the last frag. And everybody actually getting a piece of the action that time around for Neophyte. Everybody getting a frag. That flip side, they just get picked apart. And that was also due to some pretty slick positioning there on that A side as well. Not holding in the usual spots and actually making it work. Wow. That was... Um an unfortunate turnaround and maybe uh you know a bit of a backfire on all the mp7s i mean especially i feel like playing t side of mirage mm -hmm. you are not going to be in like great position to use those mp7s are you i mean not not necessarily anyway if you run into a and there's a scout waiting ct spawn or in jungle or something you know I, you well know. you would think with proper smokes right or if like you're going up connector yeah. i wouldn't have a problem with it because then you just have to worry about that man on CT. But if you have a smoke going down on CT, then that's going to make that a little bit easier, right? Yeah. There was definitely something off at any rate. Which means flip side. They only have the one round to celebrate. Now they're in a weird position. But they are running B really quickly. They stop just before Sierra can hear them. And Stuko was, or Stiko was back there with a bit of a scout as well. Let's hope they line up and we can get a great frag in here. They do line up and he actually does get the kill, but not a double hit then. Grenade in, and oh my God, two of them burn alive. Zero to pick up one more with the MP7. It's a flip side barbecue. Markolov falls as well. Simple gonna go down. Zero picking up an ace. Two of them with the Molotovs. Wow. Yeah, that, and that's also off the back of those scout shots because he's tagging them down to 16 HP. Molotov's the last thing you want to see when you don't have Kevlar to mitigate the flames. Yeah. And his score is 9-1-1, which uh, it's too late for Flipside to call 9 one at that point. It's, yeah. The Stop police are the already police. here, and they're the ones killing them. So what are you going to do at that point? What is that smoke uh, being lined up by Bondic, I'm wondering? You're lying quite at home. Oh, uh, nice. it's just the middle one. Fair enough. It doesn't quite hit there, Underworld. I thought that would be a lot more damage with that HE. Well, yeah. 
Yeah, it's looking like Simple's going to be setting up the jungle smoke. And we have the other smoke going in onto the A site. Now, we do have a bit of an anti-smoke position being played here by Quest. He's waiting in Sandwich, so this could be of an interesting thing because the smokes are going to go over him, so he's going to be in position. And if he holds close, it's going to be tough for them to hunt him down. Oscar to start off strong and take out World Edit, but there's Blade coming back what? into it. And just random shot through the smoke by Oscar, and he picks up another kill. Is this real life? He just turned 180 to shoot through the smoke. That must have been a great call out. Or oh, we could see him on the minimap. Someone else from his team was spotting him. That was really cool. Bondig and Markolov here. 2v3 now. The bomb will go down at least. Which is a big help. But Steko's coming up from behind. And that will be hard for Flipside to predict. So they might lose a play here instantly. This might be a 3 on 1 before anything else happens. Let's see who's going to initiate the fight. If it's going to be Stiko coming up from behind, he's going to spot the first man out. Body shot out. Eagle midair to take down Bondic Markolov. Not going to get a chance tonight. Stiko with a deagle. And a double kill at the end there. Now will be three to one. Neo fight. Definitely uh, still just really hot. The deagle is such a visceral gun as well, right? It just looks like <laughs> he's pile driving him from on top of there. It's like, boom, sit down. And it's still a 9 1 1 here for Neo fight. Or at least. Um, at this. Yeah, that is just sick. But this follow-up shot by Stuko, or Stiko, it's like he gets the one and then spots that man. It's just like, boom. Annihilation. Aye, aye, aye. So, three to one now. Neophyte getting over that speed bump was essentially, you know, losing that pistol round. Now a bit scary here for Oscar, but he's going to make it out of dodge as well before they can close the distance. And Stiko's there as well to pick up the palace kill. So, they've managed to pick off one of the, uh, the flanking arms here for Flipside. It's now down to the two remaining members who are focused mid, and there it is, Markolov taking out Stiko, but that's all that's going to happen. Oscar picking up a two kill, zero two, and we should have had one for Stiko, so. I mean, I think overall the, the theme that we're seeing is that Neophyte is just playing with so much confidence. They're willing to take all the fights that, um, that flip side aren't essentially, just keep playing, even individually. They're just taking the fights at the moment. And right now it's actually Zero who's top fragging and doing a fantastic job on Neophyte's side, so... They've got so many resources right now. This team is really just exciting to watch at the moment. Yeah, they're looking so good. And they've definitely figured Flipside out. It seems like this is a team, perhaps that they've practiced quite a bit against. That uh, Flipside, you know, that they, they seem to bounce into each other because they do seem to have an idea of what to expect out of each other here. Or at least Neophyte have a good idea of what Flipside are throwing at them. As far as uh, this round is concerned, flip sign with quite a bit of gear after that round of eco, so they're going to be pleased with that. They can actually go, you know, speaking of practice, now they can start turning to the to the strategy book saying, okay, we have all the requisite nades that we need to actually make this work. What are we going to elect to go for now? And so that's going to be on Blade, the in-game leader, basically to call that shot. Oh, look at this. This smoke, I think it's going to be a connector smoke from top. So uh, you can throw it from further back, as I tried to illustrate in some video, but I think we've seen this one before, so... Um Oh, it actually lands in jungle instead. All right. You can set up a very similar one that lands in connector from that position, but not going to be this time. Markolov trying to find an opening, and Oscar. He ends up going down. Oscar with a double kill. He's so good. Point blank range. Going to miss the flick there. Blade will drop him, and actually, World Edit. No, that was Hero to pick him off. I thought Quest maybe could uh, get in on that. 2v2 now. 30 seconds left, and Simple is going to catch Quest trying to jump on over Barbie. Last man standing inside the bomb site, and they are coming for him as well. Good headshot on Simple, and the bomb has dropped. They have to try and pick it up here. World Edit running in. He's got the double. He's up on the stairs trying to get the shot through. And Barbie hears him running as well, using the sound so well. A lot of noise being made on the other side by World Edit, and the jump shot comes through. World Edit with a triple. Oh, my God. What a kill. I'm just sitting here squinting my eyes. Did he just really go for a jump headshot with the op? Yeah. Like... What? Kukli on steroids. Right? I mean, if you can do that with an AWP now, who needs a scout? <laughs> what know. was that? So there we go. That's how you do it, world. That's how you win the clutch round for your team. And yeah, if don't put that into your playbooks at home. <laughs> don't don't say oh, I'll I'll totally go for that next time I'm in a one v one. Your matchmaking teams are going to be upset. That won't work a lot of the time. Well, that's just literally like one of the biggest gambles paying off. Like, you might as well go buy a lottery ticket while you're at it because tonight's your night. If you hit a jump shot with the AWP like that. Yeah. So, well done. Well done. You know, there's the clutch round that Flipside need. That's going to take a little bit of the wind out of uh, Neophyte's sails, but they are going to manage to make it past here. The smoke not really working, but Quest might get found out. They realize that that smoke smacked them in the face. That smoke isn't going to hit the perfect angle, however, so you may be able to find a bit of an angle to work with over here. Yeah, highlighting one of the big problems of trying to smoke connector here, just so difficult to get one down that's perfect. Even if you, I mean, even if you can do it in a tutorial a lot of the time, it'll still still be some, some tricks to it once you get into it. It just has to be off by one pixel and, and it's a problem. 
Simple boost it up, we'll take out Oscar, and he gets the second kill as well. So important. Stinko, however, with the second AWP is gonna be able to pick off Simple before he can make, well, any more mischief happen and get into jungle. But Barbie, just look at what is going on, this random spray, and Zero just completely fluffing that. Yeah, that should have definitely been a kill for Zero there, so, I mean, maybe a little bit of a mess up there, and that's gonna give Flipside a chance to get back into the game. They are on the less favored side as well, so... Maybe it's not the end of the world here. As Barbie gets executed trying to get through the murder hole. It will be 4-3. And the money on Neophyte is not exactly amazing. It's so uncharacteristic as well, you know, when it comes to zero for him to be able to miss that kind of spray because he's sitting right now on 12 frags. He's yeah. like top fragging by a fairly large margin here. So for him to just go wild with the spray like that and not lock that frag down when he's had so much success so far in this half, that's, that's why I'm a little bit surprised there. But now flip side, really, they're in an ideal position. The pistols are forced onto the fight. And simple to start off strong. Oscar gets spotted out. Gonna be a clean and easy second frag. And it's just going to be a tension mid here from Neophyte. Just trying to close in and see what they can do about, you know, bum rushing this part of the map. But they just aren't having any luck running into these AWPs. Well, as I say that, Blade will fall to Barbie, who just found a little clever angle on him there. Yeah, but it shouldn't be much of a problem. Again, we were sort of crediting Neophyte when they were playing on cash with grouping up in the anti course, and that's exactly what Flipside are doing here as well. So a little bit of credit to them as well. A lot of damage. Deco actually also hitting Simple and putting him down to 13, so that could have actually got way out of control. But they managed to stabilize. They lose two players, which is not great, but um, at least they win the round, and they equalize the score at 4-4, which is which is uh, pretty respectable at this point. Actually, yeah. I mean, they don't quite have a bank, but they could be within force by range if they were to lose this round. So flip side, that now they have a little bit of room to maneuver with. Whereas Neophyte, after that round of eco, they're going to be able to get a healthy buy together, but this is it. Their backs are to the wall here, Neophyte. They need to actually get this round locked. World Edit, once again, holding connector, not peeking towards window. So Oscar, not really going to get any joy here. Unless World Edit decides to get impatient and start to uh, to push forward, which could always happen. And actually, it's Oscar who wants to just force the issue. He realizes, he knows. But this passive angle from World Edit and Oscar not going to be able to find the shot. Instantly turns around and is ready for simple. He's up against two orbs, potentially, so he's got to be really careful. This scoping and unscoping is making me super nervous at this point in time, because... This is trusting yourself at this point. Oscar has to trust his call. And uh, simple's on the other side doing the same thing. Oh, he's so close. There it is. And Oscar gets rewarded for his patience. That's what we're talking about with trust. You know you have to just hold that angle. Yeah, Quest is kind of low, and it's going to be a 3v4 here. They get the opening kill on Oscar, which is going to be big. But can they actually get into the site? They still got 40 seconds. Stuko is holding the bomb back here. They have to come back at some point. Right now, the only thing that can work out is if World Edit comes up from behind here and catches Stiko. That's going to be the opening. Bobby will go down. Stiko walking up behind them. And he close out this round. Oh, did he hear him behind? He, must he have heard did. The steps. Hurt. Yeah, he heard him. Gonna pick up the kill there. And now time is running out. Twenty seconds. This is almost certainly a round for new fight. And he, sh he hears the steps as well. He should have heard. Yep, he hears the steps. Just jumping through. Look at this Bondic announcing his presence clearly, and that's gonna be another very easy frag there for Stiko. Wow. And both of those kills could have been. Well, I mean, they they had no way of knowing. At least the first man through. Had no way of knowing that Stiko was sitting on that bomb. But the second man to just run through apartments, at that point, he just didn't have time. I think there was 17 seconds when they finally clashed there at, at, the, at the back of T-Spawn. Yeah. So, I mean, he, he doesn't have time to walk his way back there. But really unfortunate turn of events there for Flipside. And a crucial win and a very important round for Neophyte. It means that they're not going to be back onto Eco. That means that now they have a shot to actually build some bank here. Five to four. Neophyte still looking really good. They are getting ready. Flip side. Try and see if they can execute onto the A-bomb side here. Standard smoke's going in. Uh, they're missing one for CT spawn so far, and that's definitely dangerous. But actually, they're out of smoke, so they don't have one for it. Instead, they're going to try and plant in the open here. So that's a very logical choice. You can't smoke off CT spawn. You really can't go for the default plant. Instead, they plant in towards the middle of the map, which is a superior bomb plant anyway. So that's good news. Sneeko going to be a one zero with a good headshot there. Taking down Simple, and he keeps running in. To pick off Blade as well. 2v3, and now it's a 2v1 as Markolov is gonna have to try and see if he can prevent this defuse, but he's smoked off. He has to come through the smoke here. Flashbang in, not a great one either. Bomb already defused, and Zero to pick up a quad kill. Great round for him. What's his score like right now? 11 rounds in, and he's at 17 kills. Wow. <laughs> 72 and 4. Oh, that's, that's insane.
and he is just dominating right now, but that was a retake as well. You know, full smoke round, nobody on that site. They even start a man down, Neophyte, with, uh, I believe it was Simple picking off the man holding CT. So, Neophyte still managed to make that work. Flip side, they've got to be kicking themselves right now. And there we go, that, that, that grace period that they bought, having a little bit of bank, having another buy round that they can go for. Well, there we have it, flip side, they're back to pistols here. And Neophyte once again in control of the situation. So this is now where Neophyte get to build some money. And this is where Flipside really starts to struggle. So far, again, focusing on mid. A quest, look at this cheeky spot. He's able to do this because he fully trusts in his, in his teammate holding short to watch his back. And that's why I mean, you already have zero managing to close out the kill on the blade. Yeah, it's, it's the buddy system and work. Full on Definitely. buddies. Definitely very good. Simple, gonna try for a deagle shot. He did hear Stiku out there, but not gonna pick up the kill just yet. And in turn, he's also going to be alone. Playing a dangerous game, both play players here. Maybe one that isn't strictly speaking necessary from uh, Stiko's point of view. And at the end, Sierra will come and help him out and put himself at 19 kills. So 7 to 4. They are really, uh, they're struggling once again here, Flipside. You know you linked the Perry Bible earlier? Yes. You know the one where it's like the whack-a-mole? Except yeah. it was in medieval times. Thou art too slow. <laughs> Yeah, and he has like a, like a mace a flail. or something. Yeah, flail. That's so brutal. Uh, it always looks like a game of whack-a-mole with the guy jumping below the balcony on B. It's like, you gonna, you gonna get him? You gonna get him? Well, Simple got there, but then he got got. And now, four-on-four four scenario here. Defense still solid on this A site. They're gonna be able to re-smoke it as well. Blade about to eat some nade damage. Down to 40. Well, down to 62. The world that in the meantime has actually won the duel versus zero, so he's gonna be fairly pleased about that. Oscar playing a dangerous game. This is either get the shot off or fail, and then you're going to get sprayed down. He's playing so close to the smoke, but Terrace player on the other side has already fallen back, and there was Blade that was up close. They've realized there's nobody over at B because Markolov has cleared it out, so pretty good position right now for Flipside and should be able to pick up a fifth round here unless something drastic is going to change. And I like the fact that Bondic isn't going to try and keep you know taking this fight. Just, uh, let them waste their time. It seems like they're pretty intent on just holding on to the guns that they have right now in the fight. Best part is, though, I mean, Bondic is going to be hanging around here, and there's really no way, out, no way out for him. Neophyte are fully expecting the rotation to come out from Flipside, the hunt to begin, essentially, and Oscar getting caught off guard. It's going to be unfortunate. Barbie is still there, however, so they know now where the remaining member is for Neophyte. Flipside going to start spreading out across this map to try and hem him in and keep him from saving this AWP. And pretty much it's down to Barbie now to stay alive at all costs. Because he needs to hold on to this rifle. If he can hold on to the AWP, that's a lot of money saved for his team in the next round. That means that Oscar can have that to continue to work with right now. Yeah, not peeking, but just just close enough at the off angle. If anyone was going to be close, it could have worked out here. And he's going to be patient all the way to the end. So pretty smart play. I mean, doing the best that he can in that situation. His team, they could probably force this up. I'd be surprised, in fact, if they didn't. Don't want to give up anything more at this point. Five rounds is workable for Flipside. It's not amazing, but they can they can work on second half if they just get the five rounds here. Yeah, 10-5 would not be too bad, actually. I mean, obviously they're aiming for 9-6, but 10-5 would still be workable here for Flipside. You're right. And Oscar once again taking up positions, but this time they decide to smoke up short. So we might actually have a little bit of confusion here on the fight side. Not quite sure what the, what's going to get thrown at them. I mean, now they know at least that World Edit, you know, there can be a man top mid right now, but he can be holding aggressive. They're going to be closing in as well. Stiko actually with a bit of a trick smoke, or at least one that's like blocking off the bottom of connector, but he can still see over onto short. That's the important bit. And unfortunately, because that nade goes off in that angle right there, it's not going to do any damage to the man holding an underpass. Yeah, I was wondering if Markov was going to try and come out and, and throw a smoke out of underpass. That's something we've seen more and more teams do recently. It's a really cool idea uh, to smoke off top connector. So um, maybe that was uh, oh. going to be the thing. Markolov here, and this, that smoke is... A variation. It's a variation. The problem is it lands really, really far right. So you can look at Stiko just walking in, and that's what we're talking about. Smoking middle is such a difficult thing to try and accomplish because this smoke is essentially completely useless. In fact, it's dangerous to world edit because Stiko has such a great one-way smoke going here, and you can tell world edit thought that was a good smoke for him. Essentially, Markolov just got him killed. Bondic, though, with a good kill in return, and it's going to be a 4-4 bomb is being planted, and Bobby not doing the damage. Not able to, but then, hey, Zero and Oscar are rolling in right now. Barbie is going to get picked off by Bondic eventually, and now we're into a three-on-two, and it looks like Oscar was able to spot the man going at the shadow. He even hits the wall bang. Bondic down to 58. 
now the I mean the push begins. Quest gonna walk in and also gonna pick up the last frag. Bondic trying to do the best he can, taking out that man in CT. But I mean you're absolutely right. That's that setup there from Markalov leads to World Edit getting picked off just because of that one way. Yeah. Confused. And confused. if you go I mean, I I I did my attempt to, to, to show on YouTube how it could work out. But if you if you just go on YouTube and search for any video that says, you know, Mirage Connect to Smoke, you'll find a hundred of them. And the problem is it's yeah, like I said, it's it's one thing to do it in a, in a practice video. It's another thing to do it consistently throughout a match. And if you're just a couple of inches off, it'll be horrible. And this is actually from the recent update as well, because they've tightened up the edges, the particles of the edges of the smoke. Yeah. So I mean, it used to be maybe that that smoke was more effective because it was a bit fluffier on the sides of the smoke. But now because they tightened everything up, it's made the smokes a little bit smaller. And so those kinds of one ways can happen. Uh, it leads to having to basically update all of your smokes in your inventory, you know, to make sure that, they, uh, that they're doing what you want them to do. Now look at Stiko right now. Aggressive take. He knows that they've been going through underpass, and he doesn't take that shot. He decides Ooh. to back out. So there is that smoke to top committed, uh, connector that we were actually just highlighting uh, that you can throw that a lot of teams have been doing. Markolov putting that one down and forcing you fight back just a tiny bit. Especially with the AWP, you don't want to get caught on the wrong side of, of that smoke. You really want to get back and, and just play this. So that gives a little bit of control flip side. And Markolov gets up in here and tries to see if he can find an opening. Well, did it? Playing close to Catwalk. Or actually more or less on Catwalk. And really close to Oscar on the other side here. Oscar has no idea that he's scoped around there, so we'll see if well that it can hit that timing right. Markolov, that looks like Oscar was able to take out Blade, so he does do a one-for-one -one trade there. Markolov taking a battle with two guys, and he does manage to drop them low enough where Simple's going to be able to roll in and get a frag, but with 30 seconds left, they still need to get this bomb plant, and it's a 1v3 scenario now. So you can see how World Edit got picked off by Quest. Simple walks forward, takes out the first man, goes for the jumping headshot, but he's not going to get it. Stiko instead is going to hold that angle strong, and it's going to be yet another team ace for Neophyte. With Zero just now topping the 20, the 20 frag mark. He's up at 21 frags now on this map. 21, 3, and 6. That is a great ratio. Yeah, that's that's just beastly at this point. His teammates aren't even getting a chance to really do too much. So that's the last round of the half coming up here. The 15th. Oscar already flashed out. It's going to be a lot of speed for Flipside here. And it's Tech Nines and one Galil. I think it's a 15 mix as well. UMP there. Not going to get the kill yet. Ostuko and Oscar picking up some good kills. And Barbie, he got one in at the end, but they stole every single other one that he was trying to get there. And Markolov. Only going to be a while for a second longer. That grenade looked like he ran into it, but... Um, I was wondering if it was going to be fate. You know, he's just going to run straight into the nades oh, and they would zero. meet. Zero's got one. Markolov is going to be gone. And there it is. Ten to five. Neil fight. They're, they're a really exciting team to watch right now. I'm enjoying this. Oh, they're looking fantastic right now. And... Yeah, flip side don't really seem to have an answer. They try to change up the pace, of course. You know, it's kind of like that Hail Mary that you throw at the end to see if you can't get that sixth round. I mean, with the with the Tech Nines trying to close in. But the fact that the man lived so long on that on that A site to begin with, mm. I mean, it's just constant damage that's going on from that UMP that deals a sick amount of damage for an SMG versus Kevlar. Does a lot of damage. So if he can start just tagging people up right there, it makes it so much easier for then his teammates with rifles to come in and yeah. secure the frags. So the longer that guy stays alive, bigger the problem for flip side. Oh. On, on, um... Wow, look at that. Not a single Kevlar bot by Flipside. All nades. Yeah, that's it. And on the other side, it's all Kevlar. So this is like a clash of styles almost. And they don't even go for a... Like, they don't even go for a god mode. They don't even go like Tech 9 armor or anything at all. Oh, yeah. That's a fight you don't want to take without armor. Instantly aim punched. Has to try and fall back and then gets headshot along the way. Stiko opening up. Doing more damage here. The simple... They're going to take the fight, and Simple does come out on top. Important return frag, but they've already used all their grenades, more or less. I mean, they've got smokes left, but in pistol rounds, even smokes and molotovs, they just don't do as much. People tend to just run through. Especially, I mean, they've got the Kevlar, so that molotov isn't really going to be doing too much to Neophyte. There's nobody on Neophyte that really fears it. And now they just run forward, they get the info, they spot two guys on short. Oscar just going aggressively into CT. He wants to get control of Kitchen, and he spots the rotation coming through already. He's even going to spot the last man. That's Bondic. Just trying to do the best that he can here, but he's about to get swarmed by four players here on Neophyte. No fear. He takes out the first man. That's Oscar, but now they have... I mean, they have him boxed in already. Zero. Just closing him out. Yeah, this is so tough as well. 10-5. And Bondic picking up one more kill, but he's got not got the kid picked up. They could play this game all day, and Quest will take him out. He was stuck in the murder hole. Yeah, it's not cool, is it? And uh, 
on Twitter, David was actually just saying that Zero is apparently only 16, so a young talent as well. Monster. Yeah, he's been, I guess, eclipsed a bit on some of the other maps by Oscar's crazy performances. But he's coming to his own on this map, and uh, it seems to be doing quite well. Yeah, I mean, we've been theorizing for, what, the past two years, saying that the whole of the global offensive competitive scene is essentially fueled by X 1.6 and X Counter-Strike Source sort of pros that we're switching over, which is cool, and we're still waiting for more to come in. But um, it's obviously going to be like the highlight of this whole thing is going to be when we see, I guess, people like Zero and and, uh, and all the new players who've never played any other um, Counter-Strike versions who are just really good at this game. Well, I think that was the joy, the pleasure of watching Swag play. Yeah, you know? yeah I mean, yeah, granted, yeah. he had that 1.6 background a little bit, but he was still so young. He was like 16 years old. Yeah, like that's and uh, you know now you have Kirby coming mm. up on Dignitas as well, and you have you have the, that younger generation now who's starting to you know, yeah, take a crack at the top. Yeah, they are really uh, they're peaking out slowly, so we've got a whole new wave of competitive players that are that are being hatched, and that will that will do interesting things to our ever expanding community. Exactly. Smoke goes off again. This is kind of it for flip side. They have to hold on here. They can turn this around to be big for them. Blade gonna go down though. Stiko MP7 in hand to take out Bondic. It's not looking good at the moment, although if they, they've done a lot of damage, they just can't find the kills. They certainly have. Look at this follow up now. Jumping shot there by Simple. He's getting wall banged down. He does get the headshot eventually, or just the shot, the wall bang through, but then gets aggressive. And he's going to get picked off. Barbie and Oscar to pick up the remaining two frags there. But look at how much damage had been done across the board. I think everybody at one point, all five of them were like sub 40 HP on Neophyte's side. That's a field day if you're simple with that scout. Just one tap everybody if you can get the shots off. But. It wasn't meant to be this time, and Neophyte are just continuing to run away with this. They're going to get up to 13 rounds here unless Flipside can come up with something big. But this is going to be a hard eco out of Flipside, so we should see Neophyte with 13 rounds, an 8-round lead. That's still such a big cushion. It's cash all over again. They're just dominating Flipside right now. Yeah, and I mean, on cash, they played, they played so well playing T-side as well. So um, maybe if they've got something prepared here on Mirage, they could do the same. Flipside are on pistols, so... I don't see them easily coming out alive here. Careful approach, just one guy peeking on in, trying to make sure there isn't a huge stack going on. There are three members here. Well, now it's just down to one as they kill the two of them, and Blade is gonna fall as well. So no issue at all. That's a cool pop flash though. Unfortunately, he's caught reloading by Markov who came through jungle, so. <laughs> totally <laughs> ineffective pop flash for the man concerned. Huh. Yeah, sadly. Simple is gonna get hot. It's too hot in the hot tub. Oh, Gotta get out. You could tell initially he thought, oh, it's not gonna spread my way. Oh, it is. <laughs> and then you see just how much, how quickly the damage is dealt when you don't have Kevlar and you're stuck in a. I mean, that's Molotovs for you and why they're so important or useful to have in anti eco situations. It's like those people who live on like the the edge of a volcano or something, and and then when it's when it's active, people are trying to evacuate them, and it's like you have to move. It's like it hasn't hasn't done anything for a hundred years. You know, we've been living here, you know, generation after generation. It's time to move, symbol. Fire is at your feet. 13 to 5. And uh, in the 19th round here, flip side. I'd actually just be stunned if they can make this combat work. Neophyte seems so much more hungry, much more confident and focused than uh, the flip side do at the moment. Uh, exactly. And more or less, if Neophyte win any round now, it's going to force flip side. Or, I mean, in the next two rounds, if Neophyte win a round, it's going to force flip side into an eco situation or a very awkward force buy situation. Neophyte will be up on 14 rounds, so the way that this could play out right here is Neophyte looks like they want to set up for a tried and true. They're going to go for a very standard smoke round here onto the A site. We do have a bit of an anti-smoke situation, or set up two of them, in fact. We have two players who have pushed up within the smoke radius, so this could be big here for Flipside. These two players have to come through big now for the team. They have to land some shots. They have all the advantage. Well, they definitely do. Bondic playing underneath Shadow here. Zero going to put up both players, and Bobby goes... The kill on Wall did it as well. Simple is gonna fall, and it's all on Markulov here. What a remarkable take from Neophyte. In fact, Quest is gonna go down. Still Stuko and Barbie left, and they've got 20 seconds here to try and either fight Markulov or at least get the bomb down. It looks like they're gonna go for the bomb. Nice nade, and that was, I mean, good use of flashes, basically. A bit of an awkward spot there for Barbie, but he does manage to make it. And they can plan for Courtyard, and then they decide to take the fight. Stiko getting way ahead of himself there. I mean, Markloff is down to 12 HP, so this should be easy work now for Barbie. 
One bullet's all it's gonna take. He's got an AK, he's holding up close, and he's gonna do it. A neophyte, I mean, a very close call there, down to a 1v1 situation. But heavily favored for neophyte, and they managed to make it work. So six, I mean, now, now, I mean, exactly, look at where Flipside are, and there's not gonna be any shenanigans here this time around from Flipside. They aren't gonna try and hold out for a 15th round, try to take it to overtime. They're going for the straight up buy. World Edit wasting very little time, and World Edit being the only one to invest in this round, so never mind. Um, can we look at the scoreboard? I'm wondering how much money he's got left now, World Edit. Zero. This is like, he's he just got spent zero. all of his money. Yeah, he just spent all of his money. Okay. So he is the only one on his team to spend all of his money as well. Sometimes you just, you just gotta do what you feel, Semla. Yeah, you just gotta cut loose, man. Let the hair blow free in the wind. I don't know. This is generally not a strategy that works really well. Sometimes we've seen people do it with an AWP on a map like Dust 2. Get like two good openings, but yeah, impossible they're getting situation overrun. Well, it's just an impossible situation for me. They, they were so thorough there, Neophyte, as well. They used the, I mean, Molotov flash to clear the room, Molotov to clear off van, and then they come around that corner pre firing for the one lurk spot where Markloff could be holding from. Yeah, and they are just playing by the book right now, Neophyte. Everything is looking so smooth. It's no issue at all for Oscar either. Wow, 15 to 5, Neophyte one round away from 2 0 flip side on two incredibly one-sided maps here to knock them out of the tournament and continue to play either LGB or, or, or maybe or get a rematch against Envy. Yeah, that's going to be the next match coming up tonight, another best of three. So we'll, we'll find out who's going to drop down to the consolidation match, who's going to get that first seed in Group B. So we're going to be finishing off Group B here tonight at Dead Masters, but Oscar is looking to finish off things with World Edit, and he's going to be able to take him out first. So there you have it. Entry frag once again. It was the story on Cash, and it's just the story on Mirage. Neo fight every time. They seem to have the advantage. And I think that was Blade getting, uh, getting a little ahead of himself there, trying to get that AWP back. He didn't actually get tagged. It just doesn't do a lot of damage through that, that wall there. It's kind of a double wall back there. Simple is going to go down. I'm... I'm slowly becoming a, a Neophyte fan here. I, I feel like they're showing us some really cool Counter-Strike all across the board. They're, like, individually, but they're so aggressive. Oh, this could actually work out, though. Look at this. Bondic playing so aggressive close to pit. Stiko goes walking right past him, doesn't see that angle. But they're going to... I mean, it looks like they want to end up on the B side eventually here. Stiko all the way to T-spawn. Of course they don't expect that. Markloff caught completely unawares. Second man is there, though. Blade to restore order and take out that... I mean... Basically, take out like the deep work expert there. Yeah, Blade reloading and Zero's up there. Could be a little bit dangerous. He does go down to Blade, who secures a double kill, but he's down to 29 health, and they are going to fly down right in his face. There's Quest taking him out, and Bond Dick, the last guy left. He's got the equipment, but this 1v3 is going to be very hard to manage, especially as there's another Molotov here. Actually, what? wow, already disconnecting flip side. Unhappy altogether, and that's going to be 26 kills for Zero and a 16-5 victory for Neophyte. Wow, shocking. That doesn't speak to the, the, to the health of the team, man. Mm. Like, if you leave, before, I mean, it's always possible. It's always possible. There's always a possibility of pulling off a 1v3 anything. We've seen 1v5s happen. I mean, Mark lost yeah. just last week. So, I mean, to leave the server before your teammate's even dead... Yeah, that's a bit... Uh, that is harsh. I mean, How do that, you think that, that's going to go over on TeamSpeak? Like, it's obviously a sign of just pure frustration, feeling like we, we can't do this anymore. Wow. Wow, yeah. Wow is right. I mean, that's that's harsh. I mean, you know, there's this one thing to not say GG or anything, but to leave the server, or to say GG early, right, when your teammate's still trying to clutch it, but to leave the server, that's, that's out there, man. Flip side, they're out of the tournament, so... There we go. First team eliminated from group uh, from group B. Yeah, there are some days I'm happy I'm not doing any more betting, uh, just because I I would have actually I would have max bet. Uh, well, I definitely would have.